Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of a lip product declutter. So I have one whole drawer of my Alex drawers dedicated to lip products. We've got lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, lip balms, just a lot of lip stuff. And it seems to be getting more and more full than getting more empty. So I thought it's about time. I had a bit of a clear out, got rid of things that are old and things that I'm not going to use. Um, and just things that I haven't really reached for in a while um, just to clear up some space because it's just getting a bit out of control really and I mean I know we're in lockdown at the moment um, oh, things haven't really been normal have they so I've tended to not wear makeup in the house anyway and um, just opt for a lip bar and on those occasions where I would usually wear like a bright lip like a red or a deep colour you know when I'm going out obviously that hasn't really happened so I've not really been reaching for those colours so if they're still okay obviously I will keep them but yeah, I just thought it was about time I did a bit of a clear out. So this is what I'm doing today. I have done a similar video with my makeup brushes. I've done a bit of declutter with those. If you do want to check that out, that video is here. So I'm going to show you my floor. I'm going to show you all the products I've got. And I'm going to do it in sections. So I've got like liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners. And then lots of like lip balms and lip scrubs. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot to get through. But hopefully we can get rid of quite a lot of this stuff and... If it's brand new, find a new home for it, see if somebody wants it. Um, if it's been used, obviously it will have to go in the bin. But yeah, I just need to have less stuff, so yeah. If you do like this kind of video, please hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe. It really does help me out and it just lets me know that you like this kind of stuff so I can carry on doing this kind of content as well. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. So this is what we're working with so far. Ignore the wardrobe. That door isn't in stock yet from Ikea with that size. So yeah, I'm just missing a door here, but we'll just ignore that. So we've got then, these are all like lip scrubs and lip balms. Um, I've opened some of them, some are brand new. Up here we've got the liquid lipsticks. We've got quite a few Kylie ones as well. Um, some Huda Beauty ones, a bit of a mix. Here we've got lip glosses. Again, some brand new. Lipsticks over here. Some of my go-to, some are brand new. This is just kind of a pile of everything. So I've got the lip liners that tend to be over this side. Um, we've got some liquid lipsticks. We've got some like lip blushes, lip glosses. Um, yeah, it's just a bit of a random mix. These kind of lip pencils as well, where they're like creamy lips. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna do one section at a time and hopefully get rid of quite a lot of it because I just don't need this much lip stuff. Um, I'd rather have a small minimalist collection that I actually use most of and then just have a few as spares as well. So that's what we're doing. So I'm now going to prop you on the side and get on with it. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything here. Yep, good, let's go. Okay, so if we start with the lip balms because let's have a lot of these. This is obviously brand new so I'll be keeping that. Uh, the Avant Hyaluronic Acid Replenishing Lip Serum. I've not actually opened this one yet. I am really excited to try this though because it's meant to be really, really good. This is like super expensive and look how small it is. You can see. But this is meant to be really, really good. I do suffer with dry lips and chap lips, so anything like this is amazing. So I'll be keeping that one. This is a fairly new one. This came in the Cult Beauty Lip Kit. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. This smells incredible. It's so, so nice. That is pretty new, so I'm going to be keeping that. Uh, this is the EOS that I'm using at the moment. This is... I'm not really sure what scent it is. They never actually put the scents on it. But yeah, that's fairly new as well that I'm using at the moment. So I'll be keeping that one. Uh, this I've had open quite a while, and it's pink though, so I'm not really a fan of this. I do also have this one. Uh, this is alright, but again, it's been open quite a while, so I'll probably get rid of this one. Um, this is like the multi-purpose balm, so it's great for lips and also cuticles and stuff but if my lips are like really really chapped this is great at making them better Um I would put this on at night and I'd literally go all around my mouth so in the morning it's all like soft if I did the same with this though around my mouth gets tinted pink so yeah this is not great so I'm gonna get rid of both of these uh, this is from first aid beauty this is the lip therapy lip balm I got this again when my lips were really, really bad in winter. It, I don't know, it just didn't really seem to work for me. It says it repairs dry lips, but it, I think it just kind of irritated them. It smells really nice. It kind of smells like minty fresh chewing gum, but yeah, that's not for me at all. Uh, this is brand new. I've only just got this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil. I'm so excited to try this. So this is definitely one that I'm keeping. The Avant Lip Scrub. 
um, this is very expensive. Now, I've used it once and it was really nice, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. This can be my lip scrub for now. Um, we'll get to the other scrubs soon. We've got a lip balm from The White Company. I've not tried this yet, so I do want to try this one. Um, we've got a Carmex Moisture Plus. This is brand new. Obviously not tried that yet, so I'll be keeping that one. Um, we've got the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Lip Balm. This is really, really nice, but I have had it open for quite a while. So I'm probably going to get rid of this one because I do have more. We've got Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. This is so nice. I have two of these and I've already got one open. Um, I have that at the side of the bed. This is so nice. It smells like watermelon. It tastes amazing. And yeah, I love this one. So I'm definitely keeping that one. This is a Max Factor Miracle Prep Lip Scrub. This was in an advent calendar. And it's not really what I would call a lip scrub. It just looks like a lip balm. And I'm guessing it's got some like exfoliating factors in there. But yeah, it's not really for me. So I'm going to get rid of that. Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees is amazing. But... I've had this open for ages and I actually forgot I had it, so that's probably out of date now. It doesn't actually have, like, um, you know the symbol for how long you're supposed to have things open for? But it's probably out of date. But yeah, that's the original one. It's really, really good. Burt's Bees is amazing. Love it. And another Burt's Bees, this is the hibiscus one. Again, I've had this open for ages, so I'm going to get rid of this. If you don't want to be using old makeup. Then we've got the By Terry Lip Care Balm de Rose. This was in an advent calendar and I've not opened this yet, so I will be keeping this one and trying this one out because this looks amazing. This is the Deep Throat Lip Balm. This is stunning. I'm obsessed with this, so definitely keeping this one. I finished the Dolce Vita shade of this. That's like, it's half gone anyway, this one. Um, but yeah, I finished the Dolce Vita and it's just amazing. It's so, so nice on the lips and it just gives a nice colour as well. And I love the packaging. This is a new product as well. This is also in the Cult Beauty lip kit. Um, I'll link that video here if you want to check that one out. Um, but yeah, that was really, really good. This is from Nook, Nooks. Nooks, Nooks. And it's the Honey Lip Balm. This comes in a lot of parts. So brand new. I've not tried that yet, so we'll try that one. This was a recent one in the... Um, what's it called? The Sunshine Edit from Cult Beauty. This is an SPF lip balm. So obviously I've not tried that yet. I will be using that, especially this summer when I'm out and about, hopefully. Uh, we've got Pixie by Petra. Oh, this is brand new. So this is the Shea Butter lip balm. Oh, it smells really, really nice. It's very pink though. I'll have to try that and see if it actually comes out that colour, because if it does, that's not really my colour, but if it's quite subtle, then that might be quite nice. Obviously, I've never used that before, so I'll keep that to try. All right, I've got these three products here. These are from Lippy Ink and then V Lips. I don't know if that's the same brand. They look quite similar. I feel like they would match. So the two from Lippy Ink, we've got the Yummy Sugar Scrub in Wild Citrus and the Glow Super Balm in Pink Diamond. Ooh, these look really nice, cruelty free. Obviously brand new, I've not opened these. So I might give these a go. Um, then the V Lips one, Universal Lip Mask with Shea Butter. I'm going to give these a go. I will try them out and then see what I think of them. Like I said, I'm always looking for new things to look after my lips. So if they don't work after the first go, I will get rid. But for now, we'll keep them. Then we've got from 3 Ina or Mina. I never know how you pronounce this brand. This is the Lip Primer. This has literally never been opened. Perfect base for lipstick. Oh, I've never tried anything like that. Right, I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to try that under my lipstick and see if that gives me a nice result. That's what it looks like. I don't feel like I'm getting rid of much here. Right, Buffer Lip Scrub by Bybee, or BB. Another brand new product. Sugar Lip Scrub with Cinnamon and Strawberry. That sounds amazing, that's brand new. So I'll keep that, so obviously I've got the Avant Lip Scrub and I've got this one as well. And then, this is also a lip scrub from Project Lip. That smells like strawberries, but it looks like it should be orange. Okay, it actually looks like I must have scooped some out of there. So I must have used this at some point, unless it comes half empty. So I will get rid of that one, because I don't know how long that's been open. So those are my lip balms. So I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. So that's not, not bad, not a bad start, but obviously we've kept a lot here, so still got quite a few to get through. The thing is, I like to use a product completely before I open something new. That's why I have a lot of things, because sometimes it takes a long time to get through things. Let's do liquid lipsticks. So, we've got all of these. Right, I think these are all of the liquid lipsticks that I've got. There's probably some in, like, handbags and stuff, but we're going to just forget those for now. Um, so, I have quite a few Kylie 
will create lip stick. I don't that's a lip gloss. Okay, this one. I know this one is old. But this was such a good set. This this is the box that it came in. It was the um, the summer collection in like 2018 or 2017. I think it was like 2018 she brought out the summer collection. There were four of these and these were amazing. I like, I wish she would bring these back. This is the shade Bear. It was like Bear. There was new. I can't remember the other two. That was such a good set. So that's going to go. So that's the bin pile. These sleek matte me lipsticks. I never use them. I never reach for them. Yeah, that one can definitely go. This is a brand new one, still sealed up, so I'll get rid of that one, but I think I will try and see if anybody wants it. This is the shade French Fancy. I think I got that in a beauty box, but yeah, I don't want that one, so that can just go to one side. This is my all-time favourite liquid lipstick. This is from Sephora. I got this in Greece, and this is a shade 5. Now, I got this in like 2019, so it's definitely gone off, probably. I'm not really sure how long you meant to keep these open for. Um, but this is the Rouge Velour Tr No Transfer Cream Lip Stain. This is the colour I've gotten today. And it's just a very natural everyday colour and it's so, so nice. It's nearly empty, so I'm going to keep it just to finish it off because it's my favourite. And hopefully, next summer we can go back to Greece and I can get another one. This is my favourite. I love it. Model Co. Lip Cream Matte. See, that's probably not a colour I'll reach for. It's a little bit pale for me. So that one can go. Okay, let's do the Kylie ones first. I don't really want to get rid of any Kylie ones, but it's got to be done. Oh, there's another Sephora one. So I bought that at the same time, so that's probably gone off as well. Probably have to say bye to that one. Okay, I know that this is one that I love. This is actually the shade Kylie. This was from my birthday last year. So definitely keeping that one. Savage Boy Boy Mink Dancer. Mink's probably not a colour I'm going to reach for, so I'll probably get rid of Mink. These are all shades I really like. This is such a gorgeous colour. So, you know what, I might do some swatches. This is a colour that I'd wear at Christmas and it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. I hope you can see that. It's a really, really nice shade. Definitely more of a Christmas colour though. I will be keeping that one. Um, Savage and Boy Bye are so nice. So this one is Savage. Such a nice shade. So I will be keeping that one. And then this one is Boy Bye. So I do like all of those. I hope you can see those colours. So, so nice. But yeah, I do like those colours, I'll be keeping those. And we've got rosy, that is a gorgeous colour as well. And we've got naughty, this is a Christmas colour obviously. So, rosy. I do have the matching lip liner to this one, I did get the lip kit. They're all fairly similar colours. So that one's rosy, what's this one? Low key. Bit of a lighter shade. So we've got rosy is this one, and then low key is this one. They are quite similar, but they're all slightly different now, so, you know. So these are my more Christmassy ones. So we've got Goals, Naughty, and Red Velvet. This is so, so stunning, this red. So this is like a matte red, and it's like really, really bright. So it's definitely a Christmas shade for me. And then this one is Naughty. This is like a gloss, like look at the wand. It's like a different applicator. So it is quite sticky, this one. But it's more shiny. I'm not doing very well here, am I? This is the shade Gold. So again, this is a bit of a darker colour. Um, I'm running out of space here. But they're all slightly different shades, so... As you can see, they're all slightly different, but they're all my kind of colours. This was a Christmas collection that I bought. Not like Christmas, Christmas before. And I've not actually used all of these. I'm keeping all those. This is Naughty List. Did I already have Naughty List? I don't know. Oh, I've got Naughty, and then I've got Naughty List. So they're different colours keep those and then this one bikini bud this is uh, i bought this one a while ago but i've not opened it but this is more of like a lip blush i think yeah so it's more natural which is perfect for summer so i was going to take this on holiday um and then we didn't go so uh this is my favorite lip kit this is the shade kylie this is the same shade as this one this was the birthday collection um this is the same shade and it comes with the pencil as well uh, that is brand new unopened because i'm using this one it's the same so yeah, I'll keep that one opened until I finish this one. Okay, NYX Laundry. I've never had this open, but I mean, that is definitely not my colour. So, so dark, but it's definitely not for me. So we're getting rid of that. Um, this Huda Beauty one is a liquid matte, but it's in the shade Girlfriend, but it's really, really matte and it's just not really me at all. It goes so matte that it just feels really, really strange on my lips. That's the shade. It's almost like a brownie kind of orangey. But compare it to my other shade that I do like, 
is quite different. So, yeah, I don't like that one. I'm going to get rid of that one. What else have we got from Huda Beauty? We've got Chica. Oh, I like this one. This was in the August Glossy Box. So I have worn this. It's a really, really nice shade. Oh, it's so nice. That's quite similar to this one, actually. It's quite similar to the end Kylie one. Oh, it's such a nice shade. Really, really like that colour. So I'll be keeping that one. Um, this NARS Red I've had for a while. This was like in the Glossy Looks Advent Calendar like two years ago, I want to say, on day one. It's a really nice colour. The formula is quite thin though, like the consistency of it, and it is quite quite a pale red. So I'm going to get rid of that because I don't really need that. I've already got some other reds. Um, then we've got Lime Crime. This is a red velvet as well. I wonder how this one compares to the Kylie one. So that is just kind of a different shade. So this one is the Lime Crime one. So as you can see, I'll put it next to the Kylie ones to compare. I feel like it's just a bit of a thinner consistency, but it's a bit of a darker red. So it's kind of in between those two, so I'll keep that one. Melting Lip Powder, Matte Lip and Cheek Tint. I'm never going to use that, so that one can go. I absolutely love this. This is Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Angelic. Oh my god, this is amazing. Put this over like a lipstick or a lip colour. Look at that. It is so nice. Definitely keeping that. What else have we got? Another NYX lingerie uh, glitter one. Again, it's an alright shade, but I don't think I need it when I've got these other ones. Um, Bare Minerals. So this was in the limited edition glossy box. It looks quite dark, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just a bit too dark for me. It's just not really my shade, I don't think. I don't think I'm actually going to get anywhere out of that one. It's this one here. So yeah, I'll probably get rid of that one. Um, Illamasqua lip colour. This was in the um, Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. I've not actually tried this. I think I may, might have swatched it, but I've never actually worn it. This is what it looks like. So let's swatch this one. So let's try it here. Oh, that's a really nice colour. Kind of like a pale pink. So that's, that's definitely a different shade to the other ones that I've got on my arm, so... Right, I think I'm going to keep this one. What's this? Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Creme in Muddy Rose. This looks very similar to the rest of them. I've definitely swatched this, so obviously I can't give this one away. That's very similar to a Kylie one. This one is the Bella Pierre one at the bottom. And then I think it's quite similar to this one, the Kylie one. So I'm probably going to get rid of that one. I just don't need another one of those colours. Then we've got all the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top. This is brand new. I actually bought this on Cult Beauty last week, so I'll be keeping this one, obviously. Then we've got Mellow matte liquid lip paint in the shade Terran. I think I've swatched this before. I love the packaging of this brand. It's so, so like chic and pretty. Okay, this is okay. I don't think it's my color. It's quite similar to this one here. So it's that top one there. It's just a bit too like brownie orangey for me. Um, that was quite similar to the Hood Beauty one. So yeah, I don't really like that. So that's gonna go. And then the final one that I've got here is from Lime Crime again. It's the Wet Cherry, Naked Cherry. I don't think I've opened this one. It's still got the sticker on the top. It's so, so cute. Look at that. So, final one. Let's... Yeah, I've definitely not even opened this one. Oh my god, that is so, so pale. I think that is too pale for me. That's just gonna, like, blend into my face. So, yeah, that's definitely not for me. Oh my god, that smells amazing. I love that. But, yeah, it's just too pale, that shade. So from all my liquid lipsticks, it looks like I'm keeping the Kylie ones plus a couple of others. So we've got the Huda Beauty, we've got Charlotte Tilbury, La Masca, um, and the Lime Prime one. So we're keeping those and we're getting rid of all of these, which is amazing. So a good few there to bin. The ones that haven't been opened and I haven't swatched, I'll see if one of my friends wants it because I don't like to actually just throw things in the bin. Okay, so moving on to lip glosses. Let's get all these together. Okay, so I think that these are all my lip glosses. First of all, this is insane, this Kylie one. Obsessed with this. It's like an iridescent shimmer. So definitely keeping that. That is the shade Flash. So it's in the keep pile. Uh, Kevin O'Quant, this is another gorgeous one. Definitely keeping this. So, so pretty. This is definitely like my summer lip colour. Look how stunning that is. It just shimmers. Oh, it's gorgeous. That on the lips is just insane. Love it. Um, Iconic Love Struck. I've not actually tried these Iconic Lip Glosses before, so I do want to keep this one just to try it out. I got this in the um, Look Fantastic Beauty chest this Christmas. It's quite a pale shade, but it's because it's a gloss, you can always put it over something. 
I'm gonna try that here. So this is quite like a subtle shade, but that over like a nudie coloured lipstick or something, um, or just with lip liner, I think that would look really nice. So yeah, I do want to try that one out. I'm not sure what shade this is. This, I absolutely love this, but I just think it's had its day really. That is the shade there. It's such a nice colour. I don't even know what it's called, but if you recognise the packaging then yeah, this is the one. This is amazing, I absolutely love this, but I think I've had it open for that long now, it's definitely time to go. This is a really, really cute lipstick. This is called Floss, but I've just never used it, so do I really need it? Probably not. It's a nice colour, nice pinky shade. Um, yeah, I just, I just haven't re reached for it, so it's probably gonna go. This is a brand new product, this is a Huda Beauty Silk Balm. Not opened it yet. Um, this was in the Cult Beauty lip edit. Why is this not focusing? Um, yeah, this looks and smells and sounds amazing, so obviously I'm keeping that one. Oh, Marc Jacobs. This was in, I think this was in an advent calendar. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's called Pink Parade, and it doesn't want to open. Like, that colour is gorgeous. Like, oh, I'm just obsessed with that, so that is definitely staying. Need that in my life. <laughs> okay, so we've got a clear lip gloss from Pixie called Petal Ice. I never tried this one before, and it's good to have a clear in, so I will keep that one. We've got the Sleek Lip Volve Gloss Transforming Lip Topper. So this is brand new and opened. This sounds like because it's a lip topper, it's obviously something you can put over a lipstick. So I'm gonna keep that one to try. This Pixie lip gloss here, really nice colour, but I don't know if it's just a bit pale for me. Yeah, you can hardly see that. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, I've never used it. We've then got some more pixie ones. So these are in collaboration with Chloe Morello. These are so nice, but again, I've just never reached for them. So I don't know if it's just because we literally haven't been anywhere or if they're just not my kind of thing. Oh, they just look so stunning. Look at that one. But that is quite similar to the um, Kylie one. Oh my God, that is amazing. Look at that shade. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on my arm. Can you see there a little bit? Ah, oh, that looks so, so nice. So that's the like clear colored one. Then we've got the blue one. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's just so nice. Look at that color. Oh my God, it's so nice. But when am I gonna reach for this color? Probably not. So, right, I'm definitely gonna say bye to that one. Um, what else have we got? They've got the pink one as well. See, the pink one, that's probably gonna go nicely over a lipstick. You know, I've never used these, so you know they're all perfectly fine. Doing this in the viewfinder, so could go over a. Oh, it's just so pretty. That's like a proper summer lip gloss. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. So I've got rid of the blue one, but I'll keep the clear and the pink. I don't need the boxes. And then the final two products. I don't know how to put my arm now. Um, we've got the Pixie Lip Lift Max in Sweet Nectar. This is like an orangey shade. Oh, it's very sticky. I'm probably not gonna reach for that one because I do have, which is the similar one that we kept? Was it, oh, the Kevin Arquan one? It's not that different to that. It's a little bit more orange and less shimmer. So this is the one I've just tried, if you can see. And then this is the Kevin Arquan one. This one. So it's not too dissimilar. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Finish. Is this a clear lip gloss, I think? Oh, it's another clear one. I've never opened this. Which one do I keep? I don't know. Mm, I'll keep that for now, but I might revisit that. And then this is a multi-performance lip treatment. Ooh. You know what, I remember buying this quite a while ago, but I've actually never opened it. So I've got a plump and smooth. Interesting. I'm gonna keep that because I don't know what it is or what it does, so I will find out. And then the final four are new from Ink Credible Cosmetics. So basically it's the same brand as Nails Ink. And they sent me these four to try, and honestly, they look amazing. Um, and they're kind of like the chili infused plumping glosses. So they just really plump the lips a bit more. So I'm gonna keep those for now because I do wanna try those out when I'm more dressed up. Okay, so moving on to lipsticks, without getting this everywhere. We have got quite a lot of lipsticks. Oh, that's another lip balm. Okay, I think that's all of them. So, Emco Beauty. I've got nowhere to swatch these now, have I? This is brand new, this is a really nice shade. Are you gonna be too light for me though? Should we try it on my arm? Oh no, that's a really nice color actually. Ugh, I don't know how to show you this now. I do like that shade, I'll keep that one. Uh, Cockney MAC lipstick. 
oh this was the new one that was from the limited edition glossy box in summer that is such a nice red i love that so much and it's from the luster range so it's not too matte i really like that what other matte ones have we got down to an art this was another one from a limited edition box and oh my god it is amazing i love that color and it's such a nice shade so definitely keeping that one and then we've got velvet teddy i mean this is just an og i mean look how much i've used so yeah definitely keeping that one as well i do have another mac one. Oh, the new one this was from the molly may kit that i bought definitely keeping this one this is a matte red this is ruby woo then all the new ones that we got we've got the new huda beauty ones so this is the shade dirty 30 We've got Wedding Day and we've also got Prom Night. The only thing I don't like about these Huda Beauty ones is they don't fit in this. Because I like to have this on my desk. But they just don't fit. I love the packaging on these. It's so, so nice. I will be keeping all three of these. How gorgeous do they look together? Like that packaging is just unreal. So, so nice. The Dirty 30 is just slightly darker. Really, really nice. They're very, like, everyday wear for me. We've got a lipstick from Illamasqua. Oh, that's fancy, isn't it? Look at that one. Never used that. I'm not sure what the white bits will do. Oh, the Kylie Jenner ones are amazing. Uh, these were from the same summer range as that lip blush. This is the shade Beach Bum. Very neutral shade. But it's so nice. That's the Beach Bum shade. It's really nice. Love that. And then I've got Endless Summer. This is like a shimmery one. It's so, so stunning. Just look at it. I'm just obsessed with that. So this is one that you put over the top of a lipstick. I mean, you could wear it on its own. You know, as you can see there. Can you see? It is a nice shimmer. Love that so much. And then the other Kylie ones I've got, I think these are quite old now, so. We've got Mont Blanc. Oh, this is one that I've worn quite a bit. I do like this one. It's a very everyday one for me. Um, yeah, I do like that one. Dolce de Leche and Pomegranate. So Dolce de Leche. Oh, this is another everyday one. Oh, oh no. Well, I think that one's going in the bin. Oh no. Well, that was an easy one. So that's going in the bin. So the other one was a pomegranate. Oh, I've never even used this one. Look how brand new that is. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So this is Avon Mark. M by Mark or Mark by something. Look how dark that is. I used that for Halloween once. I feel like it's good to have one of these colours in for Halloween, but I've definitely had this for too long now, so... If I need a Halloween colour, I can get a new one. Um, this Kylie one is called Miami. This is so nice. It's the Miami one there. I hope you can actually see this. I'm just running out of space on this arm. Oh, another Kylie one. Oh, this is Nova. So it's actually worn off. I've used this one quite a bit. This is really, really nice. That is quite similar to that first shade, though. I'll probably get rid of this one and keep... What was this one? Beach Bum? Yeah. Okay, so I'll keep Beach Bum and get rid of Nova. Fairly similar shades. And then from Bare Minerals, we've got... Courage. This is a really nice red colour. I think that's more of like a subtle red. More pinky. What about this one? This is Longcom. Oh, this is a nice colour. Oh, I feel like I've had this for ages. Oh, that is very nice. When did I get that one? I think I'm probably going to have to get rid of this one because I don't actually know when I bought it. So it's probably too old now. This NYX Butter Gloss. I think it should be in the lip gloss section. This is amazing. I love this so much. But I think I've had this for quite a while now. So this definitely needs to go and I need to get a new one smells so good it's that front one this was great over a lipstick we've got the nyx suede in the shade free spirit that's slightly different to the others so the top one so i will keep that one for now okay so what else have we got left oh my god this is the uh, pat mcgrath one that was in the cohorted box how stunning is that i love the packaging as well um so i've not used this yet this is more of a christmas shade for me oh it's like a shimmery deep pinky kind of nude it's this one here so yeah i'm gonna save that one for christmas time or definitely winter um we've got lov and matte one that's far too light for me i'll just blend it into my face so i'm gonna get rid of that one what's this illamasqua one anti-matter lipstick oh my god that's so nice as well <gasps> i love that one okay we're gonna keep that one i think we're doing okay still getting rid of some um this is the new spectrum one that i recently got that is a very everyday colour. Not tried this yet, so I do want to try that one out. So I will keep that one. Diego de Parma, the lipstick. This was in a limited edition Look Fantastic box recently. And I remember this being an everyday colour again. Oh, look at that. That is so nice. 
This one might actually replace that Sephora uh, lip gloss for me. Uh, we've got Caroline Herrera lipstick. I think this is red. This is the one that came with the um, Latest in Beauty Sunday Times one. Yeah, this is a red lipstick. That's just a very Christmassy colour for me. I don't really tend to wear red unless it's an event or Christmas. And then we've got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Lip Pop. That's what that looks like. This was in the Court Beauty lip kit as well, so this is brand new, so I will be keeping this one. This is more of a lip balm, actually, isn't it? Oh my god, that smells amazing. And then finally, we've got these three Kylie lipsticks, which I'm not going to open. Brand new. Uh, I bought these as a set, and I will definitely be keeping these. They come in this really, really cute packaging. This was for her birthday again. 22nd birthday. Love that. So, I think we've got rid of a few lipsticks. Not as many as I would have thought, but better than none. And I also just wanted to show you these two lip colours that I've received from L'Occitane. They sent these over kindly. Um, they've not asked me to share them with you, but as I'm obviously showing you my whole entire lip collection, I can't leave these out. So this is their new pressed fruity lipstick. So I chose Pommy Love, which is this gorgeous red shade. And also Caros or Caros, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, which is more of like a peachy pink shade. So they have four different shades to choose from. Um, and I've just swatched them there as well. The red is a gorgeous kind of light red shade, I'd say. And then I also chose the peachy pinky one because that's going to be like a perfect colour for summer. And they're just so, so pretty. So I'm obviously definitely keeping these two because they're brand new and I can't wait to wear them this summer. I also got these like crayons. I'll be honest, I don't really reach for lip crayons. What's this? Lip stain. I'm not going to reach for that. That can just go. Another one of those pixie lip glosses. That can go as well. Peach pout. This is pixie. Oh, this is, looks like a nice lip balm. I might try this one. I think this has got vitamin C in it from what I remember. Oh, this Rodeo one. This Suede Lips by Rodeo is so nice this is what it looks like this was in a cohorted box i love that color that looks so nice so i'll keep that one um we've got two of these these are the nude sticks mystic crayon so that one's brand new in the packaging so i'll keep that one okay i've definitely used this because what it is it definitely needs sharpening i'm not sure how long that's been open so i'm gonna get rid of that one because i've got a new one there anyway satin finished lipstick by mua um i think that's melted a bit in there not really sitting the right way, so I'll get rid of that one. We don't want melted lipsticks, do we? Three uh, Lord and Berry lip pencils in various shades. So those are the three shades there. I'm not really sure I'd ever use that very light pink one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. That is brand new, never been opened. And to be honest, looking at them, I don't actually think I'm going to use these shades because I've got them in alternatives. So I've got them in like lipsticks, which I would reach for first. So I'm going to get rid of those as well. Then we've got four kind of red shades. So the first one is do douchey douchey i don't really know how you say that without there you go you can read it yeah i don't know how you pronounce that brand this is a brand new it's a very deep red shade i might see if anybody wants that i've not swatched it or anything it's brand new we've got a nars red i'm definitely going to keep this one because nars is amazing and that is brand new as well nude sticks in red it's like a nice color but it might be similar to the nars one again i don't know how long that's been open either so I'll get rid of that one. And the final one is from LOC Lock. I think it's Love of Colour. And this is, oh, another kind of ready shade. And it's definitely more matte. You see, I probably reached for a red lipstick over that, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And the final thing is from Benefit. I think I've had this ages, you know. I'm probably going to just get rid of this anyway. It's called Double the Lip in Lusty Rose. This is the packaging. And then when you twist it up, I've never used it. I can't even twist it. Oh, there you go. Twist the bottom bit. This is what it looks like. So it's got two shades. So obviously, the darker colour goes around the outside of your lips to give more of like a contour to make it look like your lips are more plump. So let's try it on my hand. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. It's like darker on the left and then it goes lighter. But yeah, I've never reached for it, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then finally, on to lip pencils. Urban Decay lip pencil that is brand new that's the color so definitely keeping that one now i definitely need a red so i've got my kylie red so this is to go with red velvet so that's part of the lip kit i'll keep that one and this is the shade to go with naughty list so i'll be keeping that one as well that one doesn't have a lid which kind of worries me on this carpet so please don't leak um, what else have we got here? The Lip Kit Pencil for Rosie, so I'll keep that one. Uh, we've got the Lip Kit for Autumn. Now, I didn't see the Autumn uh, Liquid Lipsticks. That must be in a bag somewhere, but I do like that shade, so I'll keep that one. Uh, we've got the Kylie in shade Kylie. This is my favourite one that I'm using at the moment. 
Definitely keep that. What else have we got in Kylie? What's this one? Mink. I got rid of mink, didn't I? So I'll get rid of that liner as well. I think that's all of the Kylie ones. Okay, so then we've got from Illa Masca, the shade Raw. I really like this one. I've used this one before. That's a really nice shade. That goes with a lot of like nude colours, so I'll keep that one. We've got Steve Laurent. Oh, I quite like that shade as well. Keep that as a maybe for now. Saint Lux. Oh, that's a nice red shade. But do I need so many reds? What's the other Saint Lux one? Cupid. Oh, that's a nice one too. These two are Saint Lux. Hmm. I don't know if I need all these, but they're so nice. Okay. Nude Beige from NYX. I think that's too nudie for me, this one. And I, I think I probably had that a while, so that can definitely go. Um, Karl Lagerfeld and Model Co. This is... I'm not sure what shade. I think I got this in a box. Oh, it's brand new. Never used that. Let's have a go on that. That's a very deep pinky kind of shade. Am I actually going to use that? Maybe. That could be my Halloween colour. I've got a MAC shade Whirl. I mean, MAC liners are always amazing. Oh, I like that one. That's a very deep nudie colour, this one here. So I'll keep that one. I've got Huda Beauty. I remember this one being amazing. This is the shade Venus. Oh, you can't even see that. It's literally like a honey sharpening that. Ooh, can I get, oh, I can get some out. That is really nice. I love this one. Then we've got, that's a brand new one. Keep that. So these two here are from Helen E. This was a boutique in Debenhams. And honestly, it's such a nice colour. It goes with so many, like, deep neutral colours. It is such a gorgeous colour. So I do have two of those, but I do use them. Uh, this one, I'm not really sure where this came from. But it's called number four. And I remember this being a really good one. A really good go-to. Um, it's quite similar to the Helene one at the bottom, maybe a little bit lighter, but it's also similar to that second one there, which I think I kept. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so now we're left with the St. Lux, the Steve Laurent and the Karl Lagerfeld. I don't think I'm going to use the Karl Lagerfeld one, even though it's brand new. I don't really have anything it will go with. Right, I'm going to get rid of that one because it just doesn't match any of those lipsticks. It definitely doesn't match any on this arm either. Right, I'm going to keep these for now because I can't decide. I've got three there. So I think we've done quite well there. So these are all the lip balms that I'm keeping. I did keep quite a lot of those. Um, my liquid lipsticks. Most of them are the Kylie ones, but we've also got lip glosses there as well. Um, like I said, the ones that I've not tried yet, I'm going to try. And then if I don't like them, I can get rid ASAP. Um, but if I do like them, then hopefully I can use them. And then these are all my lip liners. I've got something that matches all of those as well, so I can definitely use these. These are the lipsticks. I've now popped these in here, plus these ones that don't really fit. It's really annoying. They just don't go there. Um, and then obviously this little set here. I've only got three crayons now, which is good. Got rid of lots of those. Um, but this is everything we're getting rid of. So I've got a nice big tub of stuff there and these as well. So I think I've done really, really well there. So now I'm just going to use what I've got left. So I think I've done a pretty good job there. I've got rid of quite a lot of stuff that I'm either not going to use or I don't like. Um, I've now got lipstick and lip products all over my arm so I need to go and wash that off now before I get it everywhere else. Yeah I'm glad to be throwing it quite a lot away and hopefully it will free up some more space in my drawer as well which was the main aim of the job today. So if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. It just lets me know that you like this kind of content and I can carry on doing stuff like this. But yeah thank you so so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in another video.